Hello boys and girls, Hustin here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Zaku 1 from Gundam Origin. Uh, this is the Slender Denim version. Uh, put the decals on it. Most people don't do it, but I went and did it. Um, now, you get some extra parts. You get some different uh, kneecaps. You get two different kneecaps. You get black and green. I went for the black instead of the green. Um, it came with some of the elbows. Uh, came in black too, but they are too small so they didn't fit so I had to stick with this one But if I if it would have fit though, I would have went for black instead of purple Sorry, I went for the denim version not the slender version Which I don't really care. I mean, I'm not gonna call it the slender or the denim. It's just gonna be the Zaku one to me um, It would be like it was my variant of it Only thing I kept on it really was Xeon symbol the stars on the side um and the young symbol on the back, and that's about it. That's the only thing I really kept on. I didn't. And you see the hand. And you see the hands missing in the right hand just because I already have it on the gun, and I didn't feel like taking it off the gun. So, um, which I'm probably gonna take it off anyway to show you the rest of the weapons. Get with the kit is this big old, I guess, anti-ship gun is what I'm calling it. I mean, maybe what they call it, but that's what I'm calling it. Uh, you get a bazooka. And you get this nice little thing to connect to the backpack. We'll go ahead and show that. You just got this little peg back here in the side. And right down. Peg in the side, and you just put the bazooka into there, and then boom, you got the bazooka, which I have it on upside down. Let me flip that over. And that's basically how that goes onto there. You can go into this hand that's on here, like I said, it's already on this gun, and I'm not. I might do, I'll do a, like a little slideshow or, I mean it won't really be a slideshow, it'll be more in line of me just leaving the kit there and taking parts off of it and stuff like that. What you get with it is the standard Zaku 2 machine gun, uh, to me, and you get an extra little ammo pack for it. Uh, to me the problem with it is, you see right there, the cross, this is going to put my finger behind it, you can see that that's like, you know, like you can see through it basically. Uh, that's the major thing I don't like about that. Because if you attach it to its side, let me take this off. Let me move this out the way. If you attach it to the side, like it says to, it doesn't really stay. I don't know how exactly how people get it to stay. Well, there you go. You just push it up. There's got a little peg type thing there. You just push it up, and it holds it. You can't really notice it that bad, but I mean it's going to be displayed anyway for me. So I mean it's not that big of a deal. It's just I really don't like that hole there where you can see through it. You get a heat axe, inactive version to put on the side, which also goes here. Or on the other side. Yeah, it goes on either side. But I'm, I would have it on mine on this side. And pretty much, you get a hole here and here. I guess it's also for you to put this ammo pack if you want to. On its butt. On its boote. Maybe I would actually have the axe here. Eh, probably not. I'd probably put that on the side. Anyway, that's inactive. Let me just put him here. We'll get the articulation of that in a minute. And then you get the active version of the heat axe. Me personally, I think it should have been two separate parts. This little heat axe part right here, like an orange piece that you put on there. But you can really just paint that. I know the color scheme is purple, but for me, it looks like it's real, basically, if you don't do it purple. I don't know why I like doing that purple. Um, I'm not, I'm just, this is just going to go right back in the box. I really don't care to have it displayed with the heat axe. And this is the um, left hand. Uh, I don't know what happened to the right hand. But the heat axe fits in there just fine. It wiggles and wobbles a little bit. Well, now it stopped wobbling. And things like that. It's different than the GM Type 2. The GM Type 2 is, it has no grip to the sword whatsoever. And it basically would be like that in the uh, GM 2's hand. But at least Zaku has that different. Alrighty, now we're going to go into articulation. Hopefully I'm not doing too terrible at this. That's my first time actually doing a real review. The mini the skirts, the mini skirts I guess is what you could call it, are separated. So... You can easily do the nice little 
can see how good or how easy it could maneuver that pose. It actually maneuvers it quite well. And of course, you have to have it sideways, which most some kits they have them sideways. They don't have them straight up. Now I do have the Zaku. Um, now I do have the Zaku two. 2.0 and this is basically how I'm gonna have him like with his hand out like that like trying to let somebody in him into the mobile suit so that's how I will have my like too when I get it done but, I mean you get this nice bend in the knee thing like that you get a let me stand him up a nice about that far back because the butt skirt is kind of getting in the way of it you get Way. Oops. You get up about that far of a kick before the skirt kind of gets in the way. You still have to work with that skirt popping off. The shield, the ammo packs. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Shield. Oops. Take it, kind of turn it up. Take one of the ammo packs off. The bad thing about this to me, though, and what makes it ugly is this hole. Uh, if you are any good at model, you know, working with this kind of stuff, you can easily just basically bore that out and put a magnet there, and then put a magnet there, and then you know, paint that all one color to where you don't have that big old gaping hole there, those gaping holes there, just to give it a you know more realistic look. Um, see, so we pretty much move the, sh the arm will go up. Try to see if the shoulder armor moves. I guess it does not move. And like I put this kit together. You put this kit together. You know, yeah, it, yeah, it does. You can do all that, and it's. Oh, sorry, I haven't really done no posing with it. Get the arm up about like that. Let's move this. Oops. Ammo packs keep falling off. Take those off. Try to get this arm up. Pull the shield up like that, and then you can get the other arm up. It's like, give me a T, T. Now we just guess go ahead. And, um, of course, now this is part right here is the hard part, trying to get that shoulder armor back in there without it looking like a total mess. Uh, see so about 360, 360 fine because the body basically is on a ball peg. So you can get 360. Uh, you can get like a chicken movement of the body. Um, the head goes up about like that. You can kind of remove it, maneuver it a little bit to get it up just a little bit higher. Pull the neck forward and then you can basically get up higher. Down about that much. Same thing with pulling the head forward and you get down a little bit farther. That's basically about it. All right, now we'll put the big bad gun in the hand. Now another thing about this hand, if you see, it's at an angle. The ball peg is at an angle, so I guess you can hold the gun a little bit better. Uh, if you wanted to hold, if you wanted to hold the big gun straight up like that, it almost pretty much does it. It's kind of bent a little bit. Bending a little bit. And let's just do this with the, the side armor. If you want to do a gangster lean, a gangster type shot with it, uh, that's impossible because the, you know, it's not really that strong to hold it up like that. Um, now, the only reason why I really got this kit, because I like the Zaku's, and I really wanted this big old gun. That's mainly the real reason I got this kid. But after using the gun on him, I mean putting the gun on him, from what I can tell, there's really nothing you could do with him other than kind of. Sorry, right, trying to get this. Crap, the arm is sideways. No way. Basically, you can have him hold it like this, like here, like he just killed somebody. Looking like a badass. 
just, you know, if you wanted to. But yeah, look at me and my big old gun. Put him out the way. We'll go ahead and put take the hand apart. To be honest with you, I thought my first review would be better than this, but... Ah, oh, crap. And then if you look at it, you can tell if you don't pay attention, you could break the peg off in the hand. Which is great. Just great. But, I mean, it still kind of would hold... I mean, the hand still works. But let's try it with a weapon. Bam. Wa ba ba bam It still works. Even though I broke the peg at the thumb. Now, the only way you... Azaku should hold a bazooka... Let me get that. Sorry. The only way uh, Zaku should hold a bazooka, in my opinion, is over its shoulder. Hmm. Now let's see if we can connect this hand to it. This is so hard to do. Of course, the handle wants to go back in. Uh, putting the bazooka overhead, over neck, or over over the shoulder is not good at all so the bazooka is not a really a good idea to use either and the hand fell off so anyway we'll get rid of that and then you can have them holding a the machine gun like this but if you have it in a pose and the right kind of pose you won't ever notice the hands not there now I will say if this was a older kit and it didn't have the peg in hand, then you would be screwed. Teetotally screwed. You wouldn't have the gun anymore. Um, but yeah, that's about it on that. You can move the eye side to side, but I'm not going to throw all that. You just pick the head up, and then there's like a little, well, screw it, we'll pop. Oops. Great. Could just put the kit together and put it in my case, but no, I had to do a review. You got that nice little peg right there you move it and move the eye I'm not doing that because I don't want to move the eye well and you just basically use that peg to move the eye but like I said I'm not going to do that where's the face I see a little bit of green hopefully that didn't break nothing important and of course it broke something important and then bam your front mask is broken great this review sucks really badly because parts are breaking but, but it's right there I don't know what I'm gonna do I guess make my I have two of this kit so I guess that other kits gonna be a head piece uh, uh, fixing the hand and the head so if you're gonna do a review on this kit I suggest you buy two because these break pieces will break so it's best when you get one of these to buy two or your pieces are gonna break like that and that so anyway this is my first actual real review like I said I did the GM2 but that was with a camper I remember I never said that like I did say that but the video that I said that is not getting made now because it wouldn't work right the unboxing of this kit was what that one was but anyway um, with that being said though it's best to buy two of this kit so if you break one you have another one so um, I still like it it's one of my favorite ones that I've bought recently um, I guess I can go in the thruster belt. I didn't think about that until just now. They really don't do nothing. They just sit there. They would have made the ball peg a little bit, not bigger, but you know, the. Oh, screw it. It's already broke it enough. See, if they would have made that little. Well, it's not really a ball peg. If they made that thing a little bit longer, you can move the thrusters more. We'll just leave that off because I'm not going to worry with trying to fix that. 
But anyway, that's about it for this review. I'm gonna pop this head back on, even though it's all screwed up, and show you that you can do 360. Yay! Now look, and the head moves unintentionally sometimes. And that's about it. Like I said, though, I had two of this kit. The other kit was going to get a special paint job. But now, since the head on this one broke, uh, I guess I'm going to use the head from that one and the hand from that one and replace and fix this one and put it in my case. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Hopefully this review was informative. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to put it up regardless so you can see how terrible I am at doing reviews. And that's probably why I shouldn't do reviews. But, I mean, I'm, this is my first actual review, so... You know, I can forgive myself for making mistakes, being stupid, and breaking stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, uh, right after this shoot, I'm going to shoot the GM Custom review. I was going to do an unboxing on that, but the unboxing did the same thing as the unboxing for this one did. In my camera, so I'm not using my camera no more. I'm using my Elgato, and I'm having it attached to my camera. And Elgato's got my sound and everything on it. The day that I've done this is on Monday. I keep wanting to say that it is Sunday. Monday the 17th. I did this review on. Well, I can put this out there. This ammo pack is not removable. This ammo pack is removable. And it's for the side. It's on the shield. And it's kind of a crap hole to pull out. I was going to say the B word. But yeah, what? I changed my mind on that one. And you just pop it in there. And it connects clicks. 